I'd like to share a case of a patient of mine with you. This is a 58 year old woman. She's had a rotator cuff tear and I've repaired it. And we're looking at her post-op MRI scan at six weeks post-op. So this is pre-op here, this is post-op. Pre-op, we can see the rotator cuff tear. So you can see the humerus coming up with the ball, the socket, the shoulder blades here. That's a chromium, that's her AC joint, that's a clavicle, this is skin. This is the rotator cuff muscle on the top of the shoulder, the supraspinatus muscle. It forms tendon and the tendon comes across here and see it's wavy, it's curled up there. This is deltoid, this is humeral head, the little layer of cartilage and the white is fluid. There should be a tendon there coming right across the top there. And you see that here, this is post-op. See the tendon coming right across the top of the shoulder and joining onto that ledge of bone there. That's what we want to see. It's got the anchors in there. And so this one, this tendon, which used to be curled up here, crumpled up here, has been pulled out, stretched out to length and put back onto where it goes, onto that ledge of bone there, which you can see there. You see this really nice tendon repair coming across and joining onto that ledge of bone there. And that's what we want to see at six weeks post-op. So at this point, we've just increased her physiotherapy a bit, but we're not safe until three months post-op. So I'll see her back at three months with another MRI scan and check that that's intact. And then we know that we're going to be okay with her rotator cuff repair and that she's on track for a good result.